It took two weeks to name this little baby. Born on Wednesday, September the 11th in 1946. This child was born in Allen, Texas, Collin County. He was born in his grandparents' home to his father, Henry Allen, and his mother, Mytheta Sweat Allen. His grandfather was Wise Allen. Paul's mom and dad had decided they were going to give the honor of naming this child to A.D. Sweat. And when Uncle A.D. Sweat came home from World War II, he named his nephew Paul Lawrence Allen. And as things got better, his father moved his family to McKinney. Henry Allen worked for Humble Oil, continuing to advance. Paul would graduate from E.S. Doty High. He had the privilege of integrating McKinney High in their ag program, their rodeo team, where he greatly enjoyed barebacking and bull bronking. He also had the opportunity to integrate the football team and was able to be an offensive running back and a defensive back. And when he graduated, he went on to Prairie View. It was his goal to major in agriculture until he was drafted on January 4th, 1967. He became a sergeant in the Army and was a member of the AmeriCal 1st of the 4th A Company. He did a tour in Quang Tri, Vietnam, there in the demilitarized zone, right near the China Sea. When he finished his tour, he shipped out to Seattle, Fort Lewis, Seattle. When he returned to the Dallas area, he became a policeman, a patrolman in West Dallas with the Southwest substation. He worked with gangs. He had goals for his people in the west side of Dallas. He had goals and his goal was to develop a positive relationship with the citizens of the community, specifically the youth. He wanted to help those youth get jobs, go in the military, go to college, anything to get them off the streets and the culture of crime. Paul would go on to start a program which is now known as community policing. Dallas was one of the first major cities to have such a program, which was funded by the Ford Foundation. Paul made the front page. Paul also took leadership and service to police officers. Paul was the president of the Black Police Officers Association. And their goal in these very tumultuous times was more equitable treatment for black officers who were last to be hired, first to be fired, and suffered excessive punishments. Paul would go on to Lisa Ranch, right there at 1801 Wheatland Road. He named it the Double P Dude Ranch. Now, of note, he celebrated Juneteenth with a festival and a rodeo and a carnival in 1980. I had one of the first and 
to this day the largest Juneteenth celebration where it was carried on international TV or Good Morning America came out and filmed the whole festivity. I think we had over 67,000 people over, out there over a three-day period. And we had a whole fledged, had a full-fledged uh, rodeo, a rodeo arena wow. out there. And when I left that for about, about, about 10 years, I uh, helped my wife raise uh, four children and when they got up to some size, I got back into ranching and after leaving the uh, lease ranch that I had, um, I was blessed to buy 50 acres in the city of Lancaster where I uh, presently live. In 1994, Paul started the Buffalo Soldier Lancaster Chapel. Buffalo Soldier, still standing tall. If you ever see a Buffalo Soldier, Paul is still serving in his community. He is now a counselor. That will never be erased. Paul Lawrence Allen, living historian of the Buffalo Soldier. <laughs>